That, my friends, is a coffee scoop. As you can tell, it's an eight gram coffee scoop from the text on the screen there. We can see the printer settings are 240 centigrade for the nozzle and 90 degrees centigrade for the build plate. And that is a dynamic readout of the extrusion rate. And we see we're printing in PETG, and there it is. Why? Well, I got a reusable pod for the uh, Keurig Brewer, stainless steel, and just ordered up an AeroPress machine. And having a little extra coffee scoop, never a bad thing. And since I have a 3D printer and some thoughtful design student designed the scoop, you know, a quick trip to uh, Thingiverse and Prusa's own webpage. This one came from the Prusa webpage. Uh, searching for the word coffee. They serve up 3MF files on there. Pretty cool. They're much smaller than STLs. Well, you can see this will take about an hour and 28. It's been going for 25 minutes, so 3D printing does it line by line, layer by layer. If we zoom in there, you can see it's just like a hot glue gun. It extrudes the hot plastic with computerized stepper motors. One to drive the filament that goes through this PTFE tube into the head and then up through this into this hot end, which is effectively a hot glue gun. And there's a fan that cools the part on the back there. It blows air down at the plastic to cool it off after it comes out and there's fan right here to cool the heat sink because you don't want the plastic melting up here you just want it melting at the end and then there's a stepper motor here that controls this motion this way there's another stepper motor on the top that spins this gear to move the whole platform up and down precisely and then there's another stepper motor in the back at the bottom that controls the movement of the bed by that belt back and forth Just minutes away from completion, <clears throat> a clamp, 100% infill, done in PETG. You can see it's the long screw, the part that goes to the end of the screw, and the clamp holder itself. What an amazingly reliable machine. Only the power supply failed once. Other than that, this thing's bang on reliable. The Prusa Mini.